Maybe he had to go poop. What do you think that means? Cause it's I, not Mr. Midnight Movie. Well, I mean, it happens. What, what sure. do you think of that article as far as the I'm key really... part? Okay, the equitable sharing program gives police the option of prosecuting asset forfeiture cases under federal law instead of state law. That doesn't, okay, so even if they do stop this on the federal level, mm -hmm. these law enforcement agencies will just do it on the state level. Federal forfeiture policies are more permissive than many state policies, allowing police to keep up to 80% of the assets they seize, even if the people they took it from are never charged with a crime. Well, they should be charging the police with a crime because these cops are nothing more than criminals. That are there the it is. That's true. Yeah, so where I live, they don't even give stuff. people a receipt for what they take out of the home or, or garage, whatever the case may be. They do not even get a receipt that the police took it. I mean, I, I, what do you do? What do you say? There's, there's no recourse for the citizen. Well, uh, it costs money to get your money back. Well, when there's no evidence that they even took it, I mean, how? I just, in a lot I'm of sure these the cases, there's not taken. even charges. I'm there's sure not even charges. No, that they do. They do have charges. Well, I am talking about my local area because we're looking into this to, to try to find knows. a way to end it. You're right. He did. He's disgusting. You're right. Uh, they do press charges. They press charges against the money, not against the person they stole the money from. The charging documents will be titled United States of America versus $30,000. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do here, but you know we. Do I see that you have Polly B in your chat? Yes, I do have you Polly think B. She's still there? I don't know. Um, I was talking to him earlier, and he just disappeared. I, I don't no, know. Have called he's... in, or you chatted with him? I called him to see if this would work. This is the first time I'm using that VB oh, audio please cable. Please add him to the conversation. Well, if he's there, I'll ask him if he wants to. Let's I have see. been told that he is a very vile and ugly man and needs uh, extensive dental work. Well, I mean, there's different places he could go to. I mean, I know that. Apparently, he doesn't go anywhere. Let's I imagine see. that breath is much like uh, JP's ass right now. Well, it says he's away, but I'll try to add him. Let's see. Polly, if you're there, pick up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, JP said he was turning in for the night to say goodnight to you. Yes, of course he is. Doesn't look like he's picking up. No. Well... Wow. Let's see who else is on my thing. I know that Bill Wagner said he had me blocked. No, he doesn't. He's just no, never I'm on sure there. I'm sure he's unblocked you. Bill's busy at the moment. Well, like I said, oftentimes he's busy. Is that right? Yeah. Mm hmm Who is this? I hate it when people change their name. We could add Kings of Talk if you can handle that. I can handle anyone. You can. Absolutely. I okay, have, well, be uh, nice. I have nerves of steel. In Call fact, I have uh, nerves of steel that are not melted by uh, phantom uh, blacksmiths. In Big faggy blacksmiths. <laughs> Did you hang up on me? Hello? Kings of Talk. This is Angela. I'm here with the One Angry Jew. Yes, We're we have a collect call, sir, from the One Angry Jew. <laughs> you accept charges. <laughs> We're live. 
Yeah. Do you accept charges, yes or no, sir? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> He's such a nice guy. You are such a nice guy, Who showed that I hear him on? Was he talking with uh, Todd Morris? Yes, Todd and him are good friends. Um, Todd is uh, funny. I find Todd humorous. Oh, isn't he? Yes, he, he is. is. He can do a, a Ric Flair. But there's one thing he can't do, Kings of Talk. What he cannot do? He cannot do the one angry Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kings of Talk could give it a good shot. Do you think he can try to do the one angry Jew? Uh, I don't think so. Because right now I'm kind of sick. Oh, you're sick? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's all right. Are you drinking what plenty you, of water? What are you sick of? Oh, <laughs> what angry to you. You're so funny. I've been told that, yes. <laughs> no, uh, I got a cold, basically. <clears throat> My goodness. Well, you are drinking a lot of water, though, because that will help flush your system. Yes. I like a radiator. I am drinking a lot of water, a lot of fluids. Do you have any tea that has mint in it? No, I don't. Peppermint tea is the best thing for a cold. How about some uh, good weasel piss? Oh my god. <laughs> we so pissed. Oh, bro. Can I interest you in some uh, Jimmy Lethal? Jimmy Lethal? Uh, uh, what, do you think of, what do you think of Jimmy Lethal? Debbie Daly says that he reminds her of her son. Oh, really? I think that's an insult to Jimmy, isn't it? I think that's an insult to her son. But... Yeah. You know, uh, you know, Jimmy, he's he's uh, young. Stupid. I really don't know him that well enough to say those things. So He's a Nazi. Is he really? What did you think of all the Nazi information that I uh, laid out the other night? Um, I may have fallen asleep. You fell asleep during my Nazi presentation, really? <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Uh, you know, I have a cousin by the name of Frida Utley who wrote The Violence of Vengeance. Frida Utley? Mm-hmm. That sounds like a, a very poor name of a potato chip. Well, no, she's, it was English, and President Reagan used to quote her from time to time. Frida Utley. Mm-hmm. She was yes, very anti-communist. No, I mean, it's a, he wrote uh, quotes she from her. Didn't vote, she didn't vote for Democrats, did she? She was from England. But what she did do, um, George Bernard Shaw had supported her. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's a horrible man. Well, you know, back when they did all the uh, getting rid of the communists out of the entertainment field, she helped with that. She wrote that book in 1948 or 47, The Violence of Vengeance. You can get it in a PDF form. But she talks about Eisenhower, how he covered up all the human rights abuses that we did to the Germans in World War II. And made the Holocaust look worse than what it was. It's still a horrible thing. You know, but the foul treatment that we did to the Germans, I had no idea that it was as bad as it was. Frida. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. On my reading hour, I think I read the first chapter of her book, The Violence of Vengeance. I see. So, uh, Vengeance will be mine. 
it's a good book it really is and it tells how it was during that time talks a lot about the french and how they set everything up you know when you have a social democrat or democrat yeah social democrats they very often do not get anything done and that's what happened in germany before hitler came to power and i i fear with bernie sanders sanders that we're going to have the same thing here well uh, bernie sanders is a putz he's not going to get anything done and no one sees that so but i voting for trump i don't know I mean, honestly, I like what he has to say, but I know that a social Democrat cannot get anything done. Trump's not a social Democrat, is he? No, he is not, no. But I like O'Malley. I like O'Malley a lot, but we know he's not going to make it. And and I like Rubio. (laughs) It's just, I don't know who I'm going, I mean, before I was pretty set on who I was going to vote for, but oh well. And I live in a very Republican state, so really, even if I vote for a Democrat, it'll be, you know, I'm going to vote for him, you know, that one little vote. Because we only have three Democratic counties out of 78. feel the burn, I see those stickers on parents' cars every time I take my kids to school. Feel the burn. I yes. don't get those people. Do you? In a yeah, friendly I way? My fist. No, no. <laughs> Come on. The Jew has to be friendly at one point. Um, well, let me think about that. Well, if I think I'm going to get laid, yeah, maybe I'm real friendly. and uh, Especially uh, Latinas. Because I speak fluent Spanish, so I can go into that mode. But, uh, no. If I see somebody with a field of burn uh, a bumper sticker, I'm... I'm more apt to honk at them, especially if they even uh, hesitate for a second at the stop sign. And DJ Bad Guys in the chat saying that Jews destroyed the post World War One economy, also the Versailles Treaty. You're wrong, DJ Bad Guy. It was the French who did that, who forced the Germans to pay restitution <sighs> to a point. French Jews. No, I'm saying that they they tried to force them to pay this restitution that was not reasonable. It wasn't even what was in the Versailles Treaty. It was much more. It's the French fault. I, I just, ooh. The more I read, the more angry I became. And Is that right? So, yeah, I, I got very angry reading The Violence of Vengeance. I see. Where does our friend Todd work? Well, I'm sure he'd be happy to tell you if he wanted to. You sure? I'm pretty certain he would if he wanted to tell you. Let's get him on and find out. Well, he doesn't get on a Skype, and I think he might be working right now. He might be. How would you know? Let's see if I can get Desert to answer me. Hold on. Desert Rose? Mm Mm-hmm. He gets. Well, she might know. I mean, if you really want to know... The communists aren't taking over Germany. The Muslims are. The the communists. Think of all this Muslim takeover of Europe. Especially Sweden. They're really fucking with the Swedes. (laughs) A new world order. You know, Todd may work at a gay bar. That Billy Badass may be correct. Is that how you would pronounce that? Billy Badass or Billy Bad? Oh, that's Big Bill. Who's Big Bill? Don't you remember Big Bill? No. You know how the dumpster declared that Big Bill was dead and was having his funeral? Even called his friends to tell him that Big Bill had died? No, you don't I, remember I Big nothing. Bill? I know nothing about <gasps> He's the one that lived at the nudist colony? Surely remember that. Have you ever been to a nudist colony? I've driven by one. That's not the same. Well, I'm saying that's what I've done. Uh, She's not available right now. High school as well. That doesn't mean you've gone inside. I've been inside a high school before. Of course we've been, but you've driven by hundreds of high schools. You haven't gone into them. 
No. To say you drove by a nudist colony to infer that you were 